Hello there. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. Here today to give you another tip on how to help you create the life you want, how to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I want to look at the experience of anger, both our anger and the anger of those around us when someone's angry with us. Because if you notice sometimes, especially when someone's angry with us, on some level it doesn't make sense. Why, why are you so angry? What, what are you getting so angry about? Or is there fair to say that sometimes we've been angry? We've been going, guys, what, Bill, what are you doing? Why are you being so angry? What's going on? It just doesn't make sense. So what I want to do is look at what's under anger to help us make sense of it so that we can be more influential in dealing with another person's anger and or our own. This particular material comes from a quote that I'm sending out to those 5,000 people on my quote list that says, Under all anger is fear, and all fear is fear of loss. So let's look at that just kind of a little bit at a time to see if we can not only understand it, but be able to use it in our life. Under all anger is fear. Now, in order to really be able to understand and use this, we've got to expand our definition of fear because it can't just be frightened, like shrinking back from something. Because when people are angry, they're generally not shrinking back. They're coming forward. But I think you could put, I'm afraid that, or they're afraid that in front of that anger. They're afraid we don't like them. They're afraid we won't listen to them. They're afraid we think they're wrong. They're afraid we're going to try to convince them of something. They're afraid we're not going to cooperate with them. They're afraid we're not going to listen to them. Or we're afraid somebody doesn't like us or respect us. Somebody isn't listening. Somebody won't do what we want them to do. We're afraid, they're afraid, we're afraid, they're afraid. Can you see how fear, when you look at it that way, is under all that anger? Now, what about this thing, all, ang all fear is fear of loss? Again, we want to expand our definition of loss. It's not just losing someone we love or losing a job or something like that. It could be we're afraid that we are losing influence in our life. We're afraid that we are losing the ability to make something happen. We're afraid we are losing our self-respect. We're afraid we're losing our power. Or they're afraid that they're losing their image in our eyes. They're afraid that uh, they're losing our respect of them. They're afraid we won't do what they want them to do, and therefore there's that loss beneath that. So I think if we begin to look at anger from this perspective, we can not only understand it more, but again, we can become more influential in our life and the lives of others. Remember that clarity, confidence, and creativity, for it starts with clarity. If we can get clear, what is the fear underneath their anger? What are they afraid of? What are they concerned about? Or if we're the ones that are angry, what's, what's under our anger? What are we afraid of? And what are we afraid of losing? Control, influence, respect. What are they afraid of losing? So if we can begin to look at that, now we don't have to agree with their anger, but now it makes more sense. And it gives us an opportunity to address it. If someone is afraid that they're going to lose uh, respect, one of the things I can talk about is the aspect of who they are that I do respect. I can say, kind of, you know, I really find that when you engage with me this way, I'm really able to hear you. I'm really able to understand what you're wanting me to do. We're not talking about how they're wrong and how they shouldn't be angry, because that makes them more angry and has them start defending their anger. We're talking about, okay, if my listening to you and my understanding you and my cooperating with you is what you're going for, let me give you a hint of how, I can, how we can get there. By the same token, we can kind of look at our anger and see what we're afraid of losing. Is it that we're trying to get our sense of self-respect from someone else, that we're not generating it ourselves? If so, that's good information because we never know what someone else is going to think and feel about us. That's based on their perception, their belief, their experience of life. We do know, however, the qualities and characteristics that make us a good friend, a good relationship partner, a good employer, a good employee. If we can take 100% responsibility for bringing those qualities and characteristics to life, then we don't have to look for our value and our validity in someone else's eyes. So I'm hoping this kind of gives you some insight into what's maybe gone on in the past and more importantly, how we can become more influential 
in the future. I'm going to encourage you to think about that. Hey, if you have comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. I love to read your comments and I will answer any question you put down there, so feel free to do that. If you like the video, please like it. Put the like button. You know how Google and YouTube pay a lot of attention to that. And again, I'm hoping you'll find this video series something meaningful into your life. You want me to come and do a presentation to your organization on dealing with anger, dealing with stress, dealing with difficult people. That's kind of what I do, go around the world doing that. So hit the contact button at my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, or just Google Bill Crawford and I'll come up on the first page. And let me know what you're interested in. We can talk about that. I'm real flexible with my fees because I love sharing this information with people. If you want to work with me as a psychologist or a life coach, again, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in, and I do that a lot with people all over the world now through Skype and things like that. In the meantime, here's to you bringing more clarity about really what's going on with our anger and another person's anger so that you can deal with them and, uh, and us <laughs> from that perspective of confidence and creativity. More clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you're doing, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.